so it's good man hit that like button youtube been tripping out so support these videos man um the news man so the new york post has decided to plaster these screenshots of ja Morant inside this strip club from a couple of weeks ago really not a good look um let me ask you a question when when somebody has already been proven innocent and there's nothing to be charged and everything's settled what is it when that some when they keep putting stuff out it's a smear campaign and i'm not a ja morant fan i'm not a grizzlies fan as a matter of fact we lost to the grizzlies last night without ja piss me off jason kidd's got to do better uh but this is wrong uh first of all where's the the, the discretion it's a strip club i always thought strip clubs should kind of be like and usually they are kind of like comedy clubs. You can't bring your phone into certain comedy clubs because they don't want you to record any of the footage and then put it out on the Internet and steal from the comedian's work. I always thought most strip clubs did the same thing. Most strip clubs don't allow you to pull out a phone and bring it. In. But I guess in this spot, which I'm going to put it on blast, Raunchies. All right. This is the name of this club right here. <laughs> this is the club that John Morant was at in, in Colorado. And I want all the Denver Nuggets, the Denver Bronco players, Colorado, them kids out there playing for Dion, do not go to this club. They will they will do you grimy. They will do you dirty. Uh, apparently, somebody, the owner, employees, they took these pictures. They knew who he was. He was a celebrity. And they said, we're going to save these these screenshots and they sold them to the New York Post and probably were the you know blogs. This was not something that uh Twitter picked up or you know some social media type of story. No, the club owners and them they sold these photos. Uh and it, as you can see it's him with his shirt off getting a lap dance. That's regular behavior in a strip club. I mean, I don't go to strip clubs regularly. I, I've never taken my shirt off in one, but he's got that um what I don't understand is they allowed him to bring a gun in there. And if I'm an owner, this is not good press because I'm like, OK, y'all got these photos. So y'all seen him in the club waving the gun and y'all had no issues with it. He wasn't kicked out of this club. He wasn't banned from this club. He could probably still go there tomorrow if he wanted to. You know what I mean? And so it's like, why have an issue with it now to try to continue to make buzz for the, yourself and the club itself? But it's just not it's, it's dirty behavior, man. John Morant. Um, it's still. I think he's still gonna get some kind of suspension from the NBA, because uh, when you when you an athlete and you work for one of these big infrastructures like the NBA, the NFL, it's one thing for you to beat your case in court. You gotta then now deal with your punishment from the league. Like Michael Vick had his thing with court, and after he settled that, they gave him his prison time. He still, after serving prison time, had to deal with his punishment from the NFL. So Ja don't have to worry about that, but he's still, they're still talking about some kind of suspension. I mean, Memphis still ain't put him out there yet. He's been going for about a week now. Uh, but Adam Silva and them are going to have to come up with some kind of suspension uh, for him waving guns on the internet. So I don't know if they're going to do that at the end of this season and he misses the playoffs because that's the intriguing part. The playoffs is about to start. If Memphis is a top four seed, it's going to be kind of hard selling playoff tickets in Memphis when you don't have your, your star player there. Who's going to want to watch? Who's going to want to feel like they can win? So they got a lot of um, a lot of a lot of things they got to deal with. But, yeah, this strip club right here, raunchies, you know, what I mean, it's like, yeah, well, that's the kind of behavior people have in there. I wonder what it smells like in there. You know, what I mean, <laughs> raunchy strip club. But yeah, this was it was dumb. Like I say, this is one of the most self-inflicting things I've seen a celebrity of his caliber to do in a long time. And, you know, does he deserve the, some of this backlash he's getting? Yeah, but to have his uh, discretion just completely exposed, that wasn't cool. You know what I mean? That wasn't cool at all. He didn't deserve that. As dumb as he is for doing what he did with the gun, you didn't, we seen enough. You know what I'm saying? This, the, him, the visual with him and the gun and the, the shirt off in the club was enough. We need to see screenshots. And if they got screenshots, the next thing to probably come out is video footage and not the video footage we've already seen of himself that he put on Instagram. So the smear campaign is in full effect. And what these smear campaigns do is when things get cooled off on the legal side, like they have, they continue to put stuff out like this. So then the NBA can react to it because legally this story's over. Now the NBA is the one looking into this and saying, oh, you know what I mean? So Adam Silver has been nothing but a pushover since he took over. 
He's a player's commissioner. And he doesn't rule with the same iron fist as David Stern did. So he's already got on the hot seat for allowing these players to bully him. I mean, the whole load management things, guys don't want to play, but yet you're still charging people full price tickets. You know, uh, the whole All-Star thing, they used to have to make, players used to have to come to All-Star weekend, mandatory, no later than Friday night, Thursday evening. Now, some of them guys didn't show up until Sunday morning. Like, it, 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 and it's just a two-week vacation for these players. Like, Adam Silver has allowed these players to really just run over him and do whatever the hell they want. You know, the whole structure is all player-friendly. But now, people are holding his foot to the fire to see if he's going to finally be a boss and actually lay the hammer down on somebody. A superstar at that. So, this is on them. But New York Post, shame on y'all for putting this out. This was tasteless. This was classless. And, um... I don't know. Does this change anybody's opinion? If you already thought John Morant was whatever last week, did this make it even worse? I, you know what I'm saying? Like, what was the point of this? But uh, let me know what y'all think, man. Like, share, subscribe, and let me know in the comments.